This video is looking at tips on training your dog to feel comfortable wearing their muzzle. So I'm going to start with the assumption that your dog isn't already worried by the muzzle. If they are, then spend some time just with the muzzle in the vicinity during some fun games first until they're less suspicious. I'm starting with feeding some treats through the gaps at the top first to get Max used to the idea of putting his face near the muzzle. As he's already comfortable with this, I can start to move the treats further towards the bottom of the muzzle over time with him quite quickly. But if your dog is more hesitant, then spend as long as you need at each step before moving on. You can also cup treats in your hand and hold the muzzle so that your dog can put his nose right inside to retrieve them. Max doesn't realise that there's another treat waiting for him, so I move the muzzle slightly to recapture his attention. I'm going to start seeing if I can encourage Max to move his nose towards the muzzle on some repetitions before the treat appears right at the end, so hopefully he starts to offer putting his nose inside the muzzle before I offer the treat as a reward. This can help to increase the time your dog spends with his nose in the muzzle before and between treats, and you can also see whether your dog is hesitant to do it without the treat, meaning you may not want to move on yet. You'll see that although I offer the muzzle out towards Max, I don't actually move it onto his nose. It's his choice to close the gap and put his nose into the muzzle. It's important that your dog feels the muzzle going on is something that he has a choice in. In hindsight, I would throw some treats away behind Max so that he gets up every now and again, moves away, and I can check that he's actually keen to come back and carry on with the session. I recommend that this is something that you do when you're training your dog. I find it easiest to hold the underneath of the muzzle with one hand giving space for treat delivery with the other and not crowding your dog's face. Max enjoys targeting things with his nose, so I switch to this to try and make the session more fun. If your dog knows how to hand target, then this is another way of introducing the muzzle in a fun way. If you find your dog looking away a lot, at nothing in particular, this is a good sign that they may need a break. Do several repetitions at each stage, but over multiple sessions, to make sure your dog is genuinely comfortable and remembers what they've learned. Don't overdo it in one session, it's important not to rush. Generally speaking, we're going to be using basket style muzzles such as this. This is a Baskerville Ultra muzzle, however this brand isn't going to be appropriate for all dogs and all issues, so pick one which suits what you need it for, and ask for help if you aren't sure. Over the next few repetitions, I'm working on gradually building up the time that Max holds his head in the muzzle. I do this by feeding treats one after the other, so he learns that there's more on offer if he waits. I can then start to very gradually increase the time between each treat. If your dog struggles with this at first, then smearing something like squeezy cheese or pate on the inside of the muzzle can help. If your muzzle has small holes, then using a tube with a long nozzle on it to dispense more liquid textured treats can be really handy. The next stage is to introduce fiddling with the straps. We aren't looking to do them up right away, only to get your dog used to hands moving around near their head. Practice with both sides, and again, take your time. If your dog backs away at all, then stop, go back a stage, and build back up. Don't be tempted, now you've got this far, to keep them in position and just do it up, which will undo your hard work if they suddenly feel trapped. Lay the straps over the back of their head, and move any parts that may make a noise, such as a buckle. If your dog's muzzle has a clasp that may make a snapping sound, get them used to this sound when they're not wearing the muzzle at a bit of a distance from them to start with, and when they are wearing it, close the clasp gently to make as little noise as possible. Hold the straps in place first so you can quickly remove the muzzle without fiddling to test that your dog can cope with it first. Remember to practice this as many times as your dog needs to feel comfortable. Going back to some simple steps of just rewarding your dog for holding their head in the muzzle can help keep that behaviour steady and be a bit of light relief from the training always becoming more challenging. Let your dog tell you if they aren't ready for the next repetition. Don't force it. Offer them again and you might find that they're ready then. If not, give them a quick break. Do the muzzle up only very loosely. We're focusing on the feeling of it for now, not the perfect fit, which may take some adjustment over time.
Once they're comfortable with the muzzle being done up and almost immediately removed, you can do the muzzle up, feed them a treat or two and then remove it. This is how we would start to build up the time that your dog is able to wear the muzzle, just as we did previously when increasing the time spent with the nose just in the muzzle. Once your dog is able to have his muzzle done up and take treats, you can start to do some very simple tricks with them that they're already good at, such as sit, lie down and hand targeting to keep them busy while they get used to the feeling of wearing it. Try to always take the muzzle off before any pawing at it or rubbing it on the ground starts. If your dog does start to mess with the muzzle, then try to distract them for a few seconds and then remove it. If they're really struggling, then remove it anyway and go back a few stages. It's easy to overdo it when you feel like you're on a roll. As you're rewarding your dog and moving your hands around them during the course of your sessions, get them used to the feeling of you moving the muzzle while it's on them so you can always test to make sure that it fits snugly and that your dog couldn't remove it by themselves. Don't forget to practice your training in a range of safe surroundings too. Muzzle training often takes weeks of daily training to complete but can take longer with some dogs. If your dog's ever shown aggression towards you, or you have any cause for concern about how your dog may respond to muzzle training, always reach out to a qualified behaviourist before you begin. Thanks for watching. My name's Naomi Andrews and I'm a clinical animal behaviourist. If you'd like to see more training and behaviour videos, then don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like notifications, then click on the bell.